Huh. Got a new ping, I know. Northward? They haven't pinged anything for the game in a while, I wonder what this is. I wonder what... Excuse me, what? I don't think this video needs that much of an intro as it's pretty much the same as my previous most popular. I'm honestly going to be surprised if this gets like double the amount of views that does. Yet again, the last one was for information on the update. This one's information on the update. Both pretty much about the same topic, so wouldn't really surprise me. Also, if you're wondering why I'm making so many mistakes, that's because I'm doing all of this in one take, because I don't want to be burned out like I did last time. Anyway, without further ado, I feel like it would be best to start off with um, the fourth topic, I'm pretty sure, of the previous one, which was the community posts, as they've released one brand new one to do with the mobile task force and their new suits. Adding to the lore, it seems. Good on you, Northwood. Get Game Theory on there. The new suits given to the MTF aren't exactly new. They were frequently seen back in the 80s, even out in the public. I don't remember what they were used for. Nobody does. Our files only say that they were decommissioned for being obsolete. And now we have them. Maybe we're not meant to remember. Honestly, I have no clue what this could mean. If there's anybody in the comments, maybe have a look into this. And try to find out if you can figure out what it means. Because it's lore, and usually lore is best off waiting for it to be finished. Let me have a check to see what I have to talk about next. Uh, oh, wait, what? Inverse? Inverse Kinematics is a brand new animation system sort of thing coming to SL that will tie everything together to make playing experience as smooth as possible when it comes to the third person models. The Patreon post does state that this is a prototype version currently, which has been put in place for any of the Patreon betas or public betas, but once the update is fully released it should be completely fine and running smoothly. Do note, however, this is an early work in progress sort of system. Anyway, here's a shortish video showing how everything works. Even with it still being a prototype, it's pretty clear that it's still managing to hold up the animations and the character system pretty well. Also, at the end of the Patreon video, there seems to be a bit of an easter egg that Northwood has decided to leave in for people who are part of the Patreon and people who view it when it's been publicly revealed. Though people might find the face funny, some people might also find it a bit disturbing, like with Northwood, what the fuck? Anyway, I feel like it's time to get to the next point, or the next part of this video, which sent my jaw all the way to Australia the first time I saw it. What I'm speaking about is the September 2nd post. There isn't really that much information to do with this post. There's only really the title and one line of the description. The title is HZ plus weapon progress update, and all the description says is that the footage shown is only the developer release. It's not even released to Patreons yet, but you'll be able to see why my jaw went all the way to Australia.
after all, that was a bit of a long video, but it does show quite a bit of what's going to be in the new update. Sure, it doesn't show the new human models or the new SCP item. Yet again, the new SCP item was very recently just re-announced that it's being added into the game. Anyway, now with that out of the way, I'm pretty sure it's time to get to the August Patreon post and then the September 3rd post. Yes, this is kind of weird as it's not going in order, but hey, my video, my rules, goddamn. The August Patreon post has probably the most information than the others combined. It goes through the new heavy containment hallways, a brand new node system for heavy containment, and the brand new door type that will come with heavy containment, as well as the new door, oh sorry, the new room types as well. The new door type is called the containment bulkhead. It will be used in all standard hallways, in the fan room hallway variant, the 049 hallway, the 079 hallway, the test room, the alpha warhead, and the elevator system. These bulkheads usually work with the large nodes, as stated on the Patreon post, and there is also another node type, which is the small nodes. The small nodes are meant to act as doorways that depend on the specific layout of the room type that they're in. These being most likely heavy containment armory, 106 room, the server room side staircase, which has its fair share of bugs, 096's room, 079's room once again, the HZ pipe hallway variant, 939 containment, Tesla gates, and probably the achromatic abatement section of the facility. The small node door type will be compared with several of the new room variants to provide as much gameplay opportunities that it can. These will include the junk room, the G-shaped room, the grenade-able windows, and the 173 jump spots which are usually found within different types of rooms on the map. That's pretty much all there is to the August Patreon post, so I feel like it's time for the last and final post that they've released, the September 3rd post, which is primarily images, but you know what, goofy moments. The September 3rd post is pretty much just the brand new human models in their soon-to-be natural habitat. Though these human models do kind of still look a bit unnerving, the Class D is just honestly just- he looks like a maniac bro. He's a happy and he's holding a gun and it looks like somebody's creased his J's man. Who let him near his J's, bro? What the fuck? They also gave my boy the tutorial his own model after so many years. He's no longer a reskin of the god slash MTF slash whatever he was. He's now his own man, kind of. Though it is pretty much just the godhead just slapped on the mobile task force suit that's just colored red honestly seems a bit lazy here northward but yet again original tutorial was a reskin so can't really say anything bad about it but uh yeah honestly i thought there was gonna be more information <laughs> this has been like a 10 minute video and i thought that there would have been way more information than there actually was. So, yeah, it's a bit surprising. Anyway, I would just like to say thank you for watching, and I will also see you during either my next live stream, upload, or during when the Patreon beta for 14.0 releases.